the Grand Kankakee Marsh. It is a relic of glacial proportions, literally. 15,000 years ago, as the last glacier retreated north, a vast outwash plain of sand and water was left in its wake, forming the Grand Kankakee Marsh. This beautiful wetland was once one of the largest freshwater marshes in the United States, covering over 500,000 acres in northern Indiana. But by the 1800s, with the rise of industry across the region and lack of ecological understanding, the marsh was nearly destroyed. The first people that come into an area are farmers. And for farmers to come into an area, they have to have a means for crops to get to market. And the thought was, we ditch the marsh, we drain it, we sell the land, state makes money, and it makes sense, it's logic. But then the human side comes in. You have corruption, corrupt contractors, corrupt politicians. Indiana floated bonds, money was all spent, and nothing was to be seen of it. Indiana basically went bankrupt. To combat the economic depression, landowners in the area continued to drain the river, shifting their focus from navigation to flood control in hopes that the former wetland could be repurposed and sold as agricultural plots. With the newly added railroad system crisscrossing the region, farmers no longer depended on the Kankakee for transport. The once meandering 250 mile river had been battered into a 90 mile trench. But then within two years, they realized that what made the marsh so rich was this flooding. And just like the Amazon, that's thick, vegetable life, wildlife, great. But then you burn it off and it's thin topsoil and it's a desert. Same thing happened here. It was a desert. Trees had shallow root systems, they fell over. The sand was horrible for plants. Farmers didn't succeed. There was some, to be honest, there was some good land that was created, but at such a price. I mean, to devastate the ecosystem of such a large area, sort of on a whim for selfish reasons, and without the forethought of what possibly could happen. But I don't think they wanted to think of it. They just saw money, let's do it. By 1918, less than 5% of the Grand Kankakee Marsh remained. In an effort to curb the continued destruction, a conservation group, the Isaac Walton League, made it their mission to restore the marsh. With the help of such initiatives as the Wetlands Reserve Program, conservationists have teamed up with local landowners such as John to recover the wetlands. The planting of native grasses has helped filter decades of chemical runoff from farms, and the introduction of recreational tours and wildlife viewing has encouraged a long-term commitment to restoring the Grand Kankakee's previous glory. So it's a worthy cause and something, it's kind of at the core of our mission because even though we're a historical society, the environment and the wildlife and the historical, they go hand in hand. It's the same story. And it's also a story about people, the good and the bad, those that can do harm and those that do great, great good. We destroyed this 85 years ago and it is turning around. And so we need to continue working toward that. It's sort of a feel good thing. As I said earlier, I'm a lucky guy. I was just, it fell into my lap for whatever reason or whoever directed me. Uh, it gave Mary and I uh, a mission and a purpose in life. And we feel like we're doing something for people and they're doing things for us to help us. And it's working.